The question posed is this. A solid sphere of radius r is charged uniformly. At what distance from the surface is the electrostatic potential half of the potential at the center of the sphere? Now, this must be talking about a solid non-conducting sphere. If it were a conducting sphere, then all the charge would be on the surface and the problem would be very simple. So here we will assume that we are talking about a solid non-conducting sphere. Okay? So what that means is you've got a uniform charge distribution which remains as is, is and does not move around yeah, because it's a non-conductor. So now let's step back and say, okay, for a hollow shell of radius small r, which carries a charge Q, the electric potential just outside the surface will be V is equal to KQ by R. And we get this using the shell theorem. Yeah? Just outside the surface of this uh, hollow shell, the entire charge behaves as though it were at the center. of the, And so the distance is R, therefore. And so also we know that the electric field inside the hollow shell is zero. And since the um, electric field inside is zero, the potential in, at the center would be exactly the potential just outside the surface. Okay? And so the electric potential at the center will also be V equal to KQ by R. So, we've already mentioned that the problem must be speaking about a solid non-conducting sphere. And it's uh, carrying a charge Q, so the charge density would be sigma, the total charge divided by the total volume. Simplifying it, we get 3Q by 4 pi R cubed. Now, with reference to the figure here, the red uh, circle represents the entire solid sphere. The green is the differential element that we're going to be considering. So you consider a hollow shell. Yeah, that's the green uh, um, rings that we see there, of radius r and differential thickness dr. The volume of this hollow shell now is dv equals 4 pi r squared dr. And so the charge contained in the shell would be sigma times dv, yeah? the charge density into the volume. The electric potential due to this shell at the center from the previous slide would be dv, capital V here, is k sigma d small v by r. And plugging in the value of sigma from here and d small v from here, we, and simplifying, we get 3 kqr dr by capital R q. So this is due to this green hollow shell. And we need to now integrate it between the limits 0 and uh, capital R. So the electric potential at the center would be that integral and we're calling it B subscript C for the center and when you integrate it you get 3 by 2 kq by capital R. Now again the electric potential at a distance d from the surface now since this point is outside the surface again all the charge acts as though it were at the center and so that would just be V uh, subscript d equals to kq by r plus d. So now given that uh, 2vd is equal to vc, yeah? so we told that the uh, potential at d is half the potential at c. So that means that twice the potential at d is equal to the potential at c. Plugging in the values we've got, we get d is equal to r by 3.